A mortis, also spelt mortros, mortris, mortrus, or mortruis, was a sweet pâté of a meat such as chicken or fish, mixed with ground almonds, made in medieval, Tudor and Elizabethan-era England. It is known from one of England's earliest cookery books, the form of Kuri and other manuscripts. Topic dish A Tudor mortis recipe for chicken is given in The Good Huswife's Jewel, an English cookery book of 1585 by Thomas Dawson. He instructs, to make a mortise, take almonds and blanch them, and beat them in a mortar, and boil a chicken, and take out the flesh of him, and beate it, and strain them together, with milk and water and so put them into the pot, and put in sugar and stir them still, and when it hath boiled a good while, take it of, and set it a-cooling in a pail of water, and strain it again with rose water into a dish. The dish consists of meat, such as of a boiled chicken or fish, boiled and pounded with blanched almonds and milk into a smooth paste. This is then cooked gently with sugar. An earlier recipe for mortros of fish, fish mortis, is given in the 1390 cookery book, the form of curry, written for King Richard's cooks. It called for houndfish, haddock, or cod, using the liver as well as the flesh, mixed with milk, white breadcrumbs, and sugar. A similar recipe appeared in Gentile Manly Coker in the Pepys Manuscript 1047, dating from around 1490. The Beinock Manuscript describes a saffron yellow mortruis of mixed chicken and pork, thickened with egg, take brawn of capons and pork, soden and groundon, tempir hit up with milk of almondes drawn with the broth. Set hit on the fire, put to shigure and saffron. When hit boileth, talk some of thy milk, boiling, fro the fire and ailey hit up with yolks of aeron that hit be right charge on, styre hit wel for quelling. Put there to that other, and stir hem togadir, and serve hem forth as mortruis, and strew on powder of ginger. The name of the dish most likely derives from the mortar and pestle used to prepare it. Terry Breverton, in the Tudor Kitchen, What the Tudors Ate and Drank 2015, suggests putting the mortis into individual ramekins and chilling them before serving. 